lot more to hang in a body than most people think. You'd step down, please. Oh, this is my son. I'm teaching him the trade. Dollar more. There, that ought to do her. And I'm much obliged to you, sir. See you tomorrow. Bright and early. Oh, the hood. Can place the rope over it or under it. You have a preference? Help yourself. But we don't have to go through the plaza if you'd rather not. It doesn't matter. You'll do up real nice, son. Real nice. I had the stone set here when it arrived from Santa Fe. I, I hope you approve. It's clean and straightforward. Like George himself. <sighs> he misses his father so. Well, that surely is understandable. I share your loss, Carrie. I considered him my friend as well as his lawyer. You've been such a help these past few months since George's accident. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Would you like a moment alone? Thank you. Benjamin, let's, let's go this way. Why are some people buried out there? That's, uh, that's Potter's Field out there. And that, that's where we bury unfortunates and paupers. Do, do you know what paupers are, Benjamin? No. Well, paupers are people that don't have much money, and sometimes they, they don't have many friends. Think it's for that killer they're hanging tomorrow? Yes, that's, that's where they're going to put him, right there. I've never been to a hanging. Mother might let you take me. We'll be on the stage for home. Besides, you know how I feel about execution. There's some good in every man, and killing him kills that, too. Forgive me. Now, what you say, Gary, is quite true, certainly of James Devlin. I defended him at the trial, and I'm not certain justice was done. You mean he might be innocent? Innocent of this crime, yes. There was ample evidence of self-defense. Well, then why wasn't he set free? Well, his reputation, I suppose, as you know, Devlin was a notorious gunfighter. His, his reputation convicted him. Crack like an egg. I'm talking to you, Devlin. If you lose your rotten life, don't get you with a rotten death. When you feel that rope around your neck, oh, you're going to give us a dandy show, crying, begging for mercy. Too late, put that gunny sack on your head and drop you through that trap door to hell. Why don't you shut up, UV? Don't you disappoint me, Devlin. You got 50 cents right. Go back to your drinking, UV.
Secretary Trigger in. Sure, I know my business. But she brings her supper. Did you go through this, too? You think she might have hidden the Derringer in the tamale? Happened once. With a few extra bullets in the salsa. Judge gave me permission to visit with him. Alone. Well, he sure picked a time. <laughs> well, at least I'll have somebody to share the fire with. Devlin, you can't give up hope. Jarman was my last one. Well, maybe I could do something else. Oh, forget it. Forget it, Carita. Forget me. Oh, no. No, never. I know you. You'll mourn me the day after tomorrow and then swap my horse for a ticket to Abilene. Not Abilene. New Orleans. I'll sell my guns, too. For that new bonnet that I never got around to buying you. Well, Josiah, did you come to collect your fee? Jim, I just received this from the governor. He refuses to grant you clemency. Morituri te salutamos. Isn't there something else you can do? He's no murderer. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The lady's leaving, too. Tomorrow. Don't be there. Slicker than bear grease. I know how you feel, Devlin. There's only one way out. I am Father Alvaro. So did not ask you to come, didn't she? She worries for your soul. Well, you're wasting your time. It's already spoken for. I brought you this Bible. If I may suggest a passage from the Corinthian, which proves, in words more eloquent than mine, that, that a soul is not lost... Don't sell me. I'm not buying it. Reject salvation? No. Just hypocrisy. Surely you must feel some remorse. Well, I'll answer for my sins on my feet, not on my knees like some deathbed Christian. But if you would only repent. <laughs> sure. <laughs> if I'd played my cards better, if I hadn't gone to the war, if I hadn't lost my family, if I hadn't been good with a gun tonight, I'd be an upright Kansas farmer worrying about tomorrow's weather. Do not despair. You were going to say my son. If you had Padre or no Padre, I'd have thrown you out. I'm sorry. I will go. No, you're not a bad priest, Father. You haven't failed me. Perhaps an older, wiser man. 
Oh, forget it. Forget it. My life's a bucket of spilled milk. What I need tonight's good company. Come on, sit down. I'll tell your fortune. Those are the tarot. That's right. I got them from a woman in Chihuahua. She taught me to read them. I saved her from being stoned for witchcraft. Your life is being eventful. Yes, that's that. Now, they're four suits. Wands, cups, swords, and pentacles. Superstition. Well, what isn't? Still, they deal with the same thing that you do. The world, the devil, judgment, death. But the meaning isn't necessarily what you'd think. Now, you take this one, for example. Le Pont Dieu. The hanged man. This one turned up when my future was read. But the meaning isn't that I'll hang. No, sir. That card foretells a man changing his way of life by surrendering to a higher being. Now, how's that first night go, Al? You mock me. No. Myself. Come on. Cut the cards. We'll see what your future holds. Maybe even that call to Rome and those cardinal's robes you dream of wearing someday. How did you know that? Lucky guess. No. Not three times tonight. Who knows? Cut him. God willing, he won't suffer. He won't feel much. I gave him enough laudanum to subdue half the tigers in Bengal. But was that, uh... Proper? No. Merciful. to think of you stuck way out there in the middle of nowhere. But why don't you reconsider my advice and sell the mine? Not to Lou Halleck or anyone. Well, if that scoundrel gives you any more trouble, we'll get a marshal after him. Come on, Benjamin. Oh, boy, you're a heavy one. You come back, Benjamin. We'll teach you how to ride a horse. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Goodbye, dear. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye. Can't we go watch, too? No. But, Mom... Benjamin, it's not a circus. Judge. Mr. Devlin, it's customary to say a few words of remorse or 
Maybe an admonition to the young folk of the town? In your own words, if you'd be so kind. James Evelyn, you have been found guilty by a jury of your peers, and you have been sentenced to hang by the neck until you are dead. Carry out the sentence. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall have their fill. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean in heart, for they shall see God. Hey, devil, welcome to the dance. They're going to show us the strangulation jink. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall all indeed rise again in a moment. In the twinkle of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall rise again, incorruptible. And we shall be changed, for this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Levántale la cabeza. Perdóname. Cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venganos en tu reino. Hágase el Señor su voluntad, así en la tierra como en el cielo. El pan nuestro de cada día, dásnoslo hoy. Perdónanos nuestras deudas, así. No, no bebes. Dios mío. No, no, algunas veces cuando uno muere, el cadáver se mueve. Pero, pero míralo.
Welcome home, good lady. <laughs> Do you have any explanation? Explanation? Well, his neck's not broken. He's unable to talk or won't. His heart's steady. Pulse slow. Body temperature is abnormally cold. Outside of that. Do you think he'll live, Doctor? If he should, will the state execute him again? I don't know. Imagine the same uncertainty spraying on his mind, too. If indeed his brain's functioning. Confound it, man. How could this happen? You signed a death certificate. He was dead. Or you were drunk. Well, the hangman misplaced his nut, or well, they cut him down too soon. Who knows? Perhaps the answer lies beyond our understanding. A miracle? God. In a moment of mercy. God, in a moment of mercy, reached out and a sinner fell in his palm. Really, Father. Really. Why not? Try to talk yet.
did Lazarus do with the rest of his life? The Bible does not say. You must find your own answer. You keep this incredible thing secret for two whole days. Then you want to tell me about it. Why? What's Devlin's idea? He insists on knowing what's next. I explained to him that, to, to the best of my knowledge, this case is legally completely without precedent. But if this is any kind of a prank, I'd hate to be in your booth. You certainly didn't exaggerate. An execution was carried out before some 300 witnesses. Joe, this man is legally dead. Legally dead? Well, that, that doesn't mean you're safe. And you've got enemies. Bound to be some who want to test your mortality here in Trace Cruises or any place else you go. Now, as your friend, I think we should go ahead and bury James Deplin. We'll spirit you away. Another name, another place. And you will be reborn. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall all indeed rise again in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall rise again, incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality.
Where's water? Who are you? Nobody. You want a house, Smith? Now, son, don't be afraid. Trust me. And squeeze. You won't feel a thing. Tighter. Tighter. You've got nothing to worry about. Put him on my bed. Mama. You got whiskey? To clean the wound. Oh, won't carbolic do as well? That's better. Just to uh, wash it and bind it tightly. If you've got paragoric, it'll settle him down. Don't go. Oh, Benjamin, what am I going to do about you? There's always something. That man scared me. I'm sure he didn't mean to. Come on, get in there. Get in with you there. Come on, you know. Get in. 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 Fourteen men here on this payroll. And when the trouble started, every man jack up and runs like rabbits, leaving the poor little lady all alone. Oh. You don't know them devils like I do. I know they'd win. <sighs> I'm here to have a talk with you. Wasting your time, Mr. Halleck. My answer is still no. The Chupadera is not for sale. That's not why I've come. Then why? Why? To express my regrets about that unfortunate misunderstanding the other day, I was shocked when I learned about it. That was no misunderstanding. Bo? You mean the old man deliberately provoked my employees by taking a shot at him? Your employees were trespassing. I admonished them for that and for killing three goats, and burning my wagon, and abusing this man. They went too far. And I feel a moral obligation to at least pay damages. Well, I don't want your money. I want to be left alone. You're abandoned, almost. He's just passing through. Now, if you'll excuse me. Miss Gall. I know this property can be a great burden, especially to a widow with a young child to consider, so I'm going to keep my offer open to buy it for seven days. Good day to you, ma'am. Oh, my dear lady, don't you think it's best for you and for your boy's sake to take up his offer? Nameless. After all we've been through? No, I can't let it end Halleck's way. Sure, but I've tried my best. I know. I want to thank you for what you did for Benjamin. Uh, you're welcome to uh, take supper with us and put up for the night.
Billy do something. Short of murder. Hey, Chief. That drifter. I seen him the last time you sent me in the Tres Cruces. He's the one. The devil? The hanged man. You don't talk much, do you? That's right. yourself down here. Say, did you ever know Luke Parmentier? It was a bad one for you. And I have known a lot of devils in my day. Engine Joe Murray, Bowleg Pete. And come to think of it, the worst of them was the nicest with the children. And also, the bad ones were the most gentlemanlike with the ladies. Well, uh, maybe it's the roughs that you don't have to worry about. Maybe. What's that? What's wrong? I've got dog's ears. I don't care. You'd have gone by now. Sometimes I feel there's no lonelier place on earth. I've even found myself conjuring up visitors. Marco Polo, Omar Kaya. Omar is practical. Those tents need repairing. He won't tell anyone his name. I haven't heard yours. Does it matter? Well, he's never going to be able to fix that thing by himself. Uh, I don't suppose you'd... What? Be interested in a job. No. Well, I couldn't pay much anyway. Besides, why should you borrow someone else's trouble? It's no fight you could hope to win. Not alone, no. But my brother's coming soon. He's a mining engineer. He knows how to deal with men like Lou Halleck. I've worked for men like Halleck. Cattlemen, railroad nabobs. They never stop till they win. And what's in front of them gets ground under. Yes, well, uh, come in and I'll fix you some food for the trail. Maybe you'll ride a ways with me. I gotta go into town. Think that's wise? We can't do without water. Nearest water's in Goshen.
It ain't poison. Pure? That's your life. That's not your ordinary gargling spit. That's swallowing water. Yes, sir. Purity is quality. For a price. Yeah, everything's booming. Is that a stamp mill down there? Stamp mill? Smelter, too. Going 24 hours a day, including Sunday, thanks to Lou Hallett. Hey, you top man. Puts bread on a lot of tables. Hey, gravy on some. Devlin? Yeah. Billy Irons. You might have heard the name. You're young. Old enough to road with King Fisher down there at Tuscosa. You've been a lot of places too, huh? All this stuff here for the widow lady. Widow? Meaning the gold woman? He didn't tell me that, Mr. Irons. Yeah. Alec wants to see you. He's curious. <laughs> you blame him? Go right down there to the smelter. I'll unload his wagon while you're gone, Mr. Irons. Leave it. Thank you kindly, Mr. Devlin. Silver passes through here in a month. Get over to the paymasters. We'll leave the guard over there. Sure thing, Yeah. Devlin. Devlin. <laughs> well, well. I want to hire you before P.T. Barnum does. <laughs> it's all mine. Every last brick, every last board. Says there you got a partner. <laughs> yeah, he's like you, dead. As soon as I'm through my period of mourning, why, we're gonna rub his name out. Come on, let's have a look. Definitely. <laughs> Morning, Samuel. You know how many tons of this we process a day? 2,300. Now, most of it's from my own property. But I also handle the output of the major independents, the Black Hat, the Groot Brothers. See, the next nearest smell is over 100 miles away. So uh, they got to bring the ore to me. Right now, I got 216 men on the payroll. Morning. Men like these, Welshmen, Cousin Jacks. But let me tell you, <laughs> compared to the mine they were born to, this is like heaven. It looks more like hell. <laughs> you ought to know. Come on. Eat bother you? <laughs> now me. Oh, I guess I ruined a couple of shirts a day. You know that Galt widow? She's a very handsome lady. Man would have to notice that, huh? <laughs> Tell me, Devlin, what's she paying you? All I want. You don't understand, Devlin. I mean to hire you. I don't like you. Lots of people don't. I still do business with him. I don't like your way of doing it. <laughs> well, a man can't eat the walnuts unless he cracks a few shells. Now, your first chore is to convince the Galt woman smartest thing she can do is sell out. Because I'm sure you've got a 
kinder way of doing than uh, Billy Irons. He's waiting for a water. Water? She can have all the water she needs. All. But I mean to have the Chupadera. Well, Mr. Halleck's playing some kind of a game. I think he's going to tire of it very soon now. You think I should sell out? Chupadera means nothing to you. But to me, it's my... my husband's dream. My son's birthright. And all I have in the world. Your brother. When does he get here? Early next month. Halleck only gave you seven days. I won't ask you to stay. You may not want me to. one for every day. They'll be mine when I grow up. Yeah. You didn't use today. Yeah, Friday's had the best edge. Take a good look. Does it still hurt? Some. Will it ever go away? No. How come God let my daddy die and you live? is nothing. I fought at Chapultepec with Winfield Scott. I sailed as harpooners on the whale of Diana under Captain Oliver Slocum. Ah, oh, there was a mean devil for you. Ah, the back of my neck is prickling too. Just like that time when I found George Gaunt lying dead there at the foot of the mesa. Is that an accident? Maybe. Or Halleck? Well, I couldn't prove it, so I keep my suspicions to myself. And you do likewise, for the sake of that sweet little lady's peace of mind. Nothing, really. I ran short of dried apples and had to fill out with soda crackers. But the taste's the thing. Now, I'm sure other women have baked you much better. Not for some time. Well, don't you go casting your eye on it till supper. Delvin! 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 Oh, will you put a mister on that? Mr. Delvin, there's some men riding up the back way! Looks like it might be Ed Culbertson and the Groot brothers, mine owners. Are they fighting Halleck, too? <laughs> Got 
Albertson? No doubt who you are. I'm a plain-spoken man, Devlin, and so I'm coming straight out with what we're after. Our mind's shut down, too. Hallett's got a stranglehold on us. Now, we'll pay you $200 to break it. How? We'll leave that up to you. You tell me. You know. I don't have to say it. Yes, you do. Kill Halleck. Well, what's it to you? A man with your reputation. You've killed before. And been killed, too. Why are you telling me this? The law was broken. Sure, out of the Chupadera. My authority ends at the town limits. But I'll pass along your report to the federal marshal next time he passes through. Thank you. I hear there's a death certificate made out in your name. Don't think that puts you beyond the law. Get out of line. And I'll see you march back up them 13 steps. You're gonna take care of him, buddy. When the chief says. you get in here? Have a drink? Your men could have killed the woman and the boy today. Uh-huh. Today, yesterday, last month, any time I want. So... So it stops. <laughs> Devlin, pour yourself a drink. We'll talk it over, work something out. You just listen to me. Harm Carrie Galt or her mind just once more. And I'm coming after you. You personally, Silver King, and I won't stop until you're out of business for good. Believe that. Hang on, my robe. My robe. I'm not scared of you. Who the hell do you think you are? You're, you're the same two-bit gunman you were before they stretched your neck. You're not some avenging angel, and I got two dozen men to prove that whenever I... snap my fingers. <clears throat> You're flesh and blood. You're flesh and blood.
Okay! Luke! Jenny! Joe Jenny! Who's on duty here? Somebody! Hey, Chief, what's the matter? Where's Billy Irons? Well, him and some of the boys are riding out to the Trooper Darrell, like you said. Go after him. Stop him. Yeah, but you just told I me... I changed to... my mind. Tell him I call it up for tonight. Tell him. Move! Okay. Move! Yeah. So good, eh? No. Tobin. Sean Ha Tobin. What's your name? On my gravestone. Tell me. What's it like? Tell me. You've been there. Yes. I'm scared of dying. Are you scared of living? Hell no. You, you made lots of friends. You worked hard. You've sailed the ocean. You've seen the elephant. And then more than that, found the elephant. And after I seen him, I ate him. I sucked the marrow from out in his bones. And go brave. You've got nothing to be afraid of. Sean. Right. Tobin. You won't forget. No. I won't. Only I hadn't been so stubborn. Don't. Don't. There's only one doorstep this belongs on. You're not going after Alec? Yes. He has an army. Why you? Because I can. It's my trade. You can't go back to that. Not after God's given you a second chance. Maybe there's no such thing as a second chance. You're alive. What if I'm not? Maybe this is my hell. Or my purgatory. You the one who gave the order. I don't care what I gave. 
If you hadn't been in such a hurry, I could have stopped you. No, no. Devlin isn't bluffing, no matter what you think. No, that ain't what I'm thinking. What's the matter with you? Devlin said to tell you he's coming. Son of Alone? His eyes. The touch of him. Shut up. Well, boys, let's spread the welcome mat. You don't understand. He's coming to get you. He ain't, well, he ain't hardly human. What do you need? A sniff of smelling salts? Mr. Irons, he said to ask... What are you standing here for? Billy, I want your men up and armed, everyone within ten minutes. How many you figure it's gonna take to punch Devlin's ticket? One. Just one. And the one who gets him, gets himself a hundred dollar bounty. You tell him. Spread the word. Go on! Move! Mr. Iron. What? Uh, Devlin said to ask you... Uh, Say it. If the pay is worth the price. He ought to know. It never is. Well, the sun's up. He ain't coming. A man would have to be crazy to go up against this many guns. Maybe dying's like killing. The second time's easier. Something out there, Mr. Halleck! Remember, a hundred dollars to the man that gets him. Remember that. His name was Sean R. Tobin, and you're going to meet him.
We want you to have these to remember us. I've got other things, my dad. Wednesday needs sharpening. You do. I hope you find whatever you're looking for. You've helped, Carrie. Well... of a man called Devlin? You a friend of his? We've got unfinished business. He headed south. But, mister, let me tell you, there's no use trying to get... They know you, mister! They, they tried to hang him, and they couldn't kill him. He blowed up the smelter, and he outdrawed Billy Irons. 